Okay, I've got a trick for you. There. I'll take these cards and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you select a card. Actually, let's do it this way. I'm going to show you can see you face up and you can choose any card you want. Okay, so you could pick the Ace of Hearts, Ten of Hearts, doesn't matter, any card you want, a club. You just, I'll go through and you tell me when you want me to stop. Okay, Jack of Spades, Three of Diamonds, right? Seven of Clubs, stop. Okay, you want the Six of Diamonds. Okay, no problem. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to place the deck back into the case. Now what I want you to do is I want you to wrap on the deck three times. Okay, good. Now if we look at the deck, not only is the top card blue, but every card in the deck is now blue with the exception of one card. And if we look at that one red card, that's your card, the Six of Diamonds. But now wait, we'll give it a rub and we'll rub the red right out of it. And as you can see now, there's not a single red card in the deck anywhere. Well guys, that's it for the trick. Stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, so all you're going to need for this trick is a standard bicycle blue deck, a double backer card that's blue on one side, red on the other, and a red bicycle um, case. What you're going to, you can pick these cards up at any magic shop or on Amazon or eBay. They're pretty cheap. It'll cost you anywhere from, you know, like four to ten dollars for an entire deck of uh, these double back cards. And there's a lot you can do with them. So I highly re recommend you getting them. So to do the trick, what you're going to do is you're going to take the double backer card with the red back up and place it on the very top and then stick it inside of the red bicycle uh, case close it up. When you're ready to do your trick, like let's say that you've been using a red deck all night to do tricks and at some point you might put it back in your pocket taking a break and somebody might ask to see another trick or you might say hey would you like you know you, you want to see one more trick and then when you reach back into your pocket pull out the blue deck. So what you do is you open them up okay and then bring them out showing the red back and then you can give the case to the, the spectator so that the red is staring them at them the whole time. Or you can put it in your pocket, whatever. And then you go to say, okay, I'm going to have you select a card. But don't fan them out, obviously. You don't want to flash the blue cards. Flip it over and say, tell you what, I'm going to have you select a card face up. So you can see the card that you're, you can see the card that you're selecting. Hold the deck in biddle grip and then thumb cards off one at a time. And then every once in a while, flip your hand over and point with your pinky saying, okay, well, maybe you want to select the eight of diamonds. What you're doing is you're showing them the red deck, reinforcing that this is, in fact, a red deck. All right, so you're thumbing cards off. Okay, we've got the eight of spades. Now, if you thumb cards off, you might pull out a card like this. Uh, as you're thumbing them off. So before you go to point, square it back up with your finger and then turn the deck over and point with your pinky because you don't want to you don't want to turn it over and then flash the blue. So square it up and then just keep going until the spectator says uh, to stop, right? So in this case we'll say they stopped at the Queen of Hearts. From there all you have to do is just take this deck, plop it down on top and say okay I'm gonna take and you take and you put the cards back into the case okay now make sure you put them in face up because you don't want to flash the blue back now put it in close it up now at this point you can hand it to the spectator or you can hold the deck in your hand you can snap whatever magical gesture you want I have the people usually wrap on it three times 
And then once they've done that, you take the deck back. Now make sure it's going to come out fate or back up and you pull them out and they get the full effect of the deck being blue now as opposed to red. So from here what you're going to do is you're going to fan the cards out for them saying, you know, if you look you can see that every card in the deck is now blue until you get to the red card. Now you have to be careful here because this blue card that's on top is actually the spectator's card. So what you need to do is you need to pull that red card out and place it on top and then place the whole packet here. So now the spectator's chosen card is under our double backer. So for the reveal all you have to do is a simple double lift, pull it up, show the card, okay, and you can pick it up now and flick it because this is going to remain blue because this is our double backer. And then what I like to do from there is, okay, I'm going to take and rub the card and we'll rub the red right off of it. So they think that this has now changed color. And I can now go through the deck and spread through and say, and as you can see, there's not a single red card in the deck anywhere. And honestly, this gets a great reaction. I've had some people that were completely blown away by this trick because I'd been doing a lot of uh, tricks with a red bicycle deck prior to that. And so they were so conditioned that it was a red deck that this trick just blew their minds. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed it.